Well, House lawmakers are demanding answers from Ford Motors over the company's partnership with Chinese battery maker KATL, K -A -T -L, which the auto giant plans to use as a multi-billion dollar plant in Michigan. In a letter to company leadership, lawmakers argue that the bulk of the jobs promised in this deal will go to Chinese workers, not American workers, and warning that the company's reliance on China, it, quote, exposes it and the U.S. taxpayers to the whims of the Chinese Communist Party and its politics. Here to react, Florida Congressman Carlos Jimenez. He's a member of the House Select Committee on Strategic Competition between the U.S. and China. Welcome, Congressman. So what concerns you about this deal um, with the Chinese company? Well, just about everything concerns me uh, when it comes to the Chinese Communist Party. And so what concerns me is that the U.S. taxpayer payer dollar will be paying for Chinese workers, hundreds of Chinese workers, to come and work at, the, at this plant, that they'll have operational control of this plant, that uh, this uh, particular, the owner of this particular uh, company uh, has been rumored to uh, participate in forced labor in, uh, in China and some of, the, of his other companies. Also, what kind of tax credits uh, is Ford getting uh, for this, making us more reliable on Chinese uh, energy mm -hmm. and less reliable on American energy? And why in the world would we need the Chinese in this endeavor uh, to begin with? All of that. Plus, did the Biden administration give Ford the green light? Now, the Biden administration talk, talks real tough about getting tough on China uh, in sanctions, et cetera. But then, like I always say, never uh, listen to what the Biden administration says. Always uh, look at what they're doing. And this is an example, I believe, of the Biden administration uh, helping out the, the CCP. Yeah, it's troubling on so many levels. And you wonder, is it because Joe Biden is compromised and he's, you know, trying to make these sweet deals for the Chinese to, you know, keep his, his own dirty business still undercover there? Or is it that, you know, the climate religion trumps American national security? All of it, um, as you said, not good for the American people and our national security. Here's a statement, by the way, Congressman, from Ford. They said Ford alone is investing $3.5 billion and will own and run this plant in the United States instead of a building, instead of building a battery plant elsewhere or exclusively importing LFL batteries from China like our competitors do. We're creating 2,500 new American jobs while helping to strengthen domestic manufacturing and supply chains and reduce carbon emissions. This is good for our country. It's good for the planet, and it's good for Ford's business. Um, by the way, you did mention the humanitarian concerns, forced labor, et cetera. Uh, but let's just go back to national security and what's good for America. I mean, I can't imagine a plant like this, Congressman, being built, um, you know, let's say in the 1980s and, you know, during the Cold War, that Ford would have partnered with the Soviet Union. What has happened? You just sort of bigger picture. What has globalism done? What has what has happened to our country's sense of patriotism, even at these corporate corporation levels? Yeah, I think they're they're looking for profits uh, above the the national security interests of, uh, of the United States, and uh, you know, shame on Ford for doing this. Look, I have no problem with Ford building it a huge, you know, billion dollar, multi-billion dollar battery plant uh, in the United States. So that's what they want to do. And I, and I applaud them for doing that. But why get into a partnership with a, with a Chinese company, which has ties to the CCP and undermining our national security? And so, you know, I think that, uh, you know, you touched on something, the climate change and, and everything coming out of, uh, out of uh, Joe Biden's mouth, every other word is climate change, uh, climate change, climate change. And it's the excuse for making us more dependent on China and their energy sources and destroying American energy sources where we could be dominant. And again, you touched on that also. Why is the Biden administration doing that? Why would Joe Biden want to do that? And, uh, and you have to go back to, uh, you know, is, is the president compromised? And then this is one of those things that makes you go, hmm, I wonder. Things that make you go, hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you, Congressman. Appreciate you joining us this morning and, and, and that your committee is highlighting um, this issue, which is important to America. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great, great, great day. You too. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.